Hey, what part of town do you live in? Frazier. Arlington. Bartlett. South Memphis, Westwood area. We got a little sprinkle of something spicy in here. This <laughs> you're not going to catch anywhere else. <laughs> well, this is one we've been wanting to do for a while. We're out here today at Tom Lee Park, right here on the river in Memphis. And we're going to ask real Memphians. We're going to find some people that'll, that'll talk to us on camera and see, you know, where they live in Memphis. What do they like? And what do they think can improve? We're going to ask them all those questions. So you want to see what real Memphians think about living in Memphis. We're going to jump right into it. What's your name, sir? Michael Bearden. All right, Michael. Do you currently live in Memphis? I do, I do, I do. I am from Memphis. Okay. I am from Memphis. Can you tell us what part of town you live in? I am from the South Memphis, Westwood area. Okay, awesome. Mike, what's the best thing we got going about Memphis right now? The best thing going about Memphis, I personally would have to say, would be the atmosphere and people. It might not seem as, as such, but we're really a loving city out here. Everybody seems so, you know, it's it's a caring city despite what you see. Everything is like so much love. Like even with this interview, I just he just walked up to me and it was a cool atmosphere. I could tell the energy was good, man. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. No hey, let me ask you this. Where where do we need improvement in the Memphis area? Biggest improvement I say this city needs in general is potholes. That's about it, man. <laughs> potholes. The potholes. If we can get the streets clear, nobody would be mad. There would be no such thing as road rage. Everybody would be on a smooth, straight and narrow, man. That's the biggest improvement to me. Yeah. In my heart. Uh, th those tire busters. We right. got to get rid of them tire busters. I spent 900 on those tire busters. <laughs> hey, my son, 16 year old, first week, got two flat tires on the right side. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it too. That's definitely it. That's hey, thanks for your time, Mark. It's no problem. Thank man. you, sir. Okay, so I'm out here with Lynn. Lynn, okay, and Lynn, where around Memphis do you live? I live in Arlington. Okay, so you're in Arlington. What's your favorite thing about the Memphis area? Uh, I love the the, the barbecue restaurants and the hospitality and the people. Okay, so you say barbecue restaurants. I do have to expand on that. What's your favorite barbecue? Um, uh, I probably say Rendezvous. Rendezvous. Okay. Yeah. All right. I've been to Rendezvous. Rendezvous mm -hmm. is pretty good. All right. So that's your favorite thing. What would you say Memphis could improve on? I think we need to work on the, the crime in Memphis and hopefully we can hire more policemen so people will feel safer to come downtown. All right. There you go. Well, thanks, Lynn. I appreciate your opinion on that. What's your name, sir? Ernie. Okay, Ernie. Do you live in Memphis? Yes. Okay. What part of town do you live in? Frazier. Okay. What's the best thing that we have going on in Memphis right now? Probably the food and some of the entertainment. Okay, cool. Where does Memphis need some improvement? Law enforcement. Okay. Law enforcement. Thanks for your time, sir. You're welcome. Hey, y'all, if y'all like seeing these real opinions about Memphis and you also want to learn all about the different areas around town, things to do, stuff to see, where you want to live, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell. And if you like this, this style of video in particular, hit that like button so we know that, and we'll get out and do some more. All right, so what's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan, okay, Ryan, what part of town do you live in? Bartlett. Okay, you're in Bartlett. What's your favorite thing about the whole Memphis area? Man, this. I mean, you know, the growth that we got going on. This is this is awesome. Yeah, um, I, I, I figured we'd have somebody eventually say this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean look at it. This yeah. is our second time being here since it's been open. Right. You know, so, we're out in Bartlett. Right. You know, our second time we come down here. The kids love it. I mean, we've been needing this for a long time. Oh, yeah, for Something sure. down here to bring bring people down here. Um, I mean, it's awesome. It's been a long time. We, we've been doing our YouTube channel for about like a year and a half. Yeah. And like, or maybe two years now. But anyway, it seems like the whole time we've been doing the channel, they've been working on this. So yeah. It's, yeah. it finally is done. So, so that's what you like. What about, what do you think could really be improved here in Memphis? I mean, obviously, I think everybody's answer is probably crime. Yeah. You know, but some things you can't, out of the control. I mean, I think the biggest thing is just people coming together more. Yeah. You know, and, you know, there's still a lot of racial hostility between people that I don't think I don't necessarily think it exists as much as maybe some political entities make it exist um, but you know I think they're doing a good job with just built local building you know the Grizzlies coming in have done a great job bringing stuff together and I think I think we're on the right track well I think for sure if you just look around out here I mean everybody's out here getting along well, that's, a good that's time, what I'm right? saying I mean everybody is you know everywhere you go people are getting along yeah you know er everywhere you go there's different different communities everybody's engaged with each other and i think right. that that's that's great and these things like this is what helps bridge that gap and bring people together yeah for sure well hey man i appreciate it oh, man thank you guys what's your name sir will will what part of town you live in man south memphis what's the best thing going on in memphis right now this part this part yeah you want to elaborate on it a little bit uh so what the community needed uh 
Uh, we need a few more activities down here. I think like a skate park for the skaters would be good. Um, more stuff for the kids. Yeah, cool. That's been a common answer that's been going across the board with everybody. Can I ask you this, where does Memphis need improvement? Um, in some of the blight areas. Need to help clearing out some of that blight and bring in the new, the new developments and things like that? Yeah. Hey, thanks for your time, Will. No problem. Thank you. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Right. Hey, y'all, as much as we enjoy making these YouTube videos, talking to the local Memphians, getting these answers for you guys, we'd like even more to help you guys actually relocate here to the Memphis area. So go ahead and reach out to me. Call or text me at this number. Send me an email. Let's start that process of moving you to Memphis. All right, I'm here with... Nisha. Okay, Nisha. Nisha, you live in Memphis? I do. All right, what part of town do you live in? I currently live in East Memphis. Okay. So East Memphis, where you live, what's your favorite thing about Memphis, just the whole area? Uh, the culture of Memphis. Literally, okay. you find it nowhere else. We are very much so Southern hospitality, but the thing about it is we got a little sprinkle of something spicy in there that you're not going to catch anywhere else. <laughs> uh, it's unique. Memphis yeah. is unique. But you do get that. I mean, you, you get friendly people. Just like we walk around here yeah. and, and nobody... Nobody has said no to us yet. To, to no, answer. it's that's the hospitality with the spice. Uh -huh. The spice is the honesty you're going to get. Right. Uh -huh. So that's, that's the great thing. Like, you never have to kind of say, I wonder if that's really what they're feeling. It's what they feel. That's, that's what we feel. That's right. And I want that honesty for the next one, too, which okay. is what do, you, what do you think would be, uh, where, where we really need improvement here in Memphis? I am a big advocate on having more to do for the youth. Mm -hmm. Like, I grew up in Memphis I'm from here so I remember when and I know I don't look like it but I'm 33 so <laughs> yes so I remember when we had like skating rinks everywhere and we could go into the mall and they had like big arcades for everybody to go to just after school to hang out and honestly I think we're making improvements because like we're standing right here inside the park and totally in it's great it's stuff for little kids teenagers families I just want this in more neighborhoods in Memphis yeah we just need more of this right we need more of this yeah so yes and, and I'm a little mad too because I'm 33 too and look at all this gray and <laughs> come on that's wisdom it is. That's, That's right. That's it. right. You heard it here. Right here. All right. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. it. All right. So tell me your name. I'm Jasmine Stokes. Okay. Jas my daughter's name is Jasmine too. So, oh, beautiful so how about that? So, so Jasmine, what part of Memphis do you live in? I live in East Memphis okay. by Southland. Okay. So you're in East Memphis. So tell me what is your favorite thing about Memphis? It could be anywhere or anything. Well, I think my favorite thing about Memphis is the riverfront. Um, it's just a beautiful destination. And then Tombly Park in its own, it's like four different parks in one, honestly. Um, we've got the play, we've also got nature down there, we've got art. It's really something for everyone over here. Yeah, this is cool. We all been waiting for this to be done, right. you know, so, so we're excited about this. And it's, I'd say it's lived up to expectations. It looks I good. I think so too. And the fact that people are here right now on a Wednesday, I don't know what time it is. It just speaks yeah. volumes. Yeah, it's like, actually being used. You, right. want, you want to do this and just sit here empty, right? right? So yeah, people are actually getting out here and being a part of this here in Memphis. Uh, so that's the good, that's what's going on that's good. What do you think needs to be really improved? Um, I think what needs to be improved is the way we look at youth. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes we think of them as a problem, yeah. but we don't have any solutions for it. Um, so I think being able to have activities for them, programming, activation, so you know, it's not idle time, mm -hmm. um, but also changing the thinking like that it's their fault um, right. because they need the resources yeah. to be able to, um, I guess, just, you know, they need resources here for sure. Yeah. Um, and just gotta I gotta give them what they need and they'll make right. it happen, you know. It's just Right, right. So just changing the, the thinking of, you know, that youth is the problem. But, you know, what what are some of the solutions? Right. Well if you keep telling them the problem, they'll be the problem. Right. So so yeah, gotta empower. Right. So I love it. Well thank you for that. Thank I appreciate it. All right, last one for this video. I'm here with Brandy, and I already know her name. I'll tell you why in a second. But Brandy, you live here in Memphis. I do. I'm a downtown resident, right down there in the South Bluff so, community. So you're right here. I think I have to go back and look at the video. I think you're the only one that actually lives right here by this park. Okay. So I know you love this park. Everybody's talked about how much they love this park. I do. But but you can tell me. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's something else. But what's your favorite thing uh, in Memphis or about Memphis? 
Our Grizzlies team, of course. <laughs> I go to a lot of the Grizzlies games if, when I can catch them. <laughs> all right, all right. You, you excited about this? You think it's going to be good this year? I'm excited good? about it. I'm excited, excited about the new additions, D. Rose, uh, Marcus Smart, and I can't wait for Ja to get back. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so other than Ja getting back on the court, what is the best improvement? What's the biggest thing you think we could improve here in Memphis? The biggest thing we could improve – for me personally, I would probably say maybe more restaurant. I am vegetarian, just to have a lot of more options out there for the, the vegans, the pescatarians, and the downtown area. We do have them in Memphis, but I don't think we have a lot of spots here downtown. Okay, all right, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, there's a few, there's a few, but, but you know, it is more uh, barbecue and. Uh, you know, it's a lot of pork, but <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it is what it is. But thank you for that. I appreciate that and, and, and everything. And look, the reason I say I already know her name is because her and Chris, they had a little free throw contest and a video. Everybody's been talking about this park, and it's been one of the favorite things. And we did that in another video about this park. So if you want to see if Chris wins that free throw contest and learn all about Tom Lee Park, check that video out. It's going to pop up right here. We'll see you there. Yeah. Oh, first shot in a couple years right here now. The wind's blowing a okay. little bit.